Hey, it's Gaming Widersai here, and today we are going to look at the Galaxy S5 apps which are compatible with the S4. And as you all know, the new S5 came out, and not everybody wants to upgrade from the S4 to the S5, so it's a pretty good thing that you are able to install the new software from the S5 to the S4. So the first one I want to show you is the S5 launcher and one new feature is that you can change the color of the folders and the design of the folders is also different and also one more new thing is uh, that you're again able to deactivate apps and disable them so they don't show in the app drawer anymore also, um, there is one new feature called Pull Up. Uh, with it, uh, you are able to start an app of your choice uh, with pressing the home button or if you swipe up your finger. And if you go to other pages, uh, then the home button goes, um, lets you go back to the original um, standard home screen, but if you press the home button again on the standard home screen, then the app of your choice will start. Then also one new thing is the themes, so you're finally able to choose um, from different designs for Liancha. However, um, I don't really like any of them, so I <coughs> I'm still at the standard design of um, the touch widths and the next thing I'm going to show you is the status bar. Um, the status bar has a new design. Um, the buttons are now in a um, <coughs> slightly different um, color and what you're also able to do is um, is search for local data with the app called S Finder. So, uh, for example, if you type in APK, it will search um, your local data um, with it if you have any APKs on your smartphone, but it also searches on apps and it also searches in your internet history and if it it doesn't find anything, you're still able to um, search with Google to find it. Yeah. And then another new thing is the S5 settings. Um, the overview isn't really good, so they added a cool um, addition uh, to the settings, uh, which is that you can add favorites and if you do, uh, choose your new favorites um, you can swipe to the right and then go to my favorites and then you have a nice overview of your of your favorite uh, settings so that's pretty cool and the next thing I'm I want to show you is the um, SMS or message app so of course um, the um, AirView is working and one the basic basically only one really useful feature were added to the new S5 message app which is um, that you're able to have um, pop-up notifications um, of new um, of new me of new messages, uh, we, you already know that. Uh, for example, from the video player, there was also a pop-up video player, and now if you have any app open, um, there will be a notification that you got a new um, message, and it will show the message. So there's also a new keyboard on the S4, uh, S5, sorry. Uh, you, um, it's a version of SwiftKey 
and if you don't have the money um, for a Swift key, um, the keyboard is pretty good. But uh, if you have the money, I would always prefer um, the real Swift key over the standard um, standard keyboard of the S5 because um, it just and the original Swift key has just way more features. So there's that. So <coughs> the next new thing is the new gallery app. Um, with a swipe to the right you are able to choose between uh, showing folders and showing it by time. And yeah, um, Airview is also working on the new gallery and basically only the design change but there's also the new S Studio uh, where, where you're able to edit your pictures for example you can crop the picture you can adjust uh, the size you can put effects on it you can whatever so it's a pretty cool app and also one feature of the gallery is uh, that you can choose a uh, choose an picture and you can press on recognize text and then it will recognize the text within the picture and yeah but in my opinion it's not really good working so it's so nice to have but not really necessary so another app is on the S5 files uh, within um, the files app you can access to uh, your cloud um, data so for example Dropbox and there's also the download um, app integrated into the files app and in comparison to the S4 the design changed and yeah that's it so we are going now to the internet app um, also there um, just uh, the design was changed uh, for example the overview of the tabs but one new feature is uh, that uh, if you are playing a video and you want uh, to mute it you just have to lay your smartphone or the S4 on your table and then everything is muted so we have that and the next thing is the new S Planner um, there are isn't any new functionality on the S Planner. Um, however, the the design was changed and it's pretty good. I like it. And then the next app is the video app. And also there they just changed the design. And then we also have the calculator app. There's also a new design on that one. And now we are going to the more yeah apps which are not frequently used by everyone. So we have, for example, WatchOn. So WatchOn is pretty useful if you want to control many devices with only one device. And what they changed uh, um, besides the design is on the notification bar um, you can press show and then you have the remote control on the uh, notification bar which is pretty useful and yeah that's pretty much it then another new app is the is S voice S voice didn't even change in the design so it's really the same as on S4 and I don't really know if they changed the recognition of the voice or anything. It's still working with the camera, for example, if you say click that it makes a picture. And yeah. Then we also have S Translator. It's, in my opinion, it's not really a useful app. Um, there are other apps which are doing the same or have more functionality, or do, so they are doing it better. So we also have a group player and I don't really know if there are, are any new apps which are compatible with Screwplay but um, yeah the design is new and it's it's really an app that you 
never need. I mean, I don't think anyone got in this situation where you're 10 people together and you all have an S3, S4 or S5. So it's, um, it's one app that I always deactivate. And we also have now a new story album. On the story album they didn't really change the functionality, so it's still the same as it was on the S4. So that's it. Uh, those were all the apps uh, I could show you. And there's also S South and the email app, but I really never used them, so I wasn't uh, able to show you them. And not working as of now is camera, contacts, phone, and music player. But um, besides the camera, I think that um, devs are able to port uh, contacts, phone, and music player to the um, to the S4. Uh, it's just more complicated because they need m many lips and many um, tweaks uh, to get working because there are features like Sound Alive or t whatever. In summary, you can say that um, Samsung really did a great job at the new S5 apps. In my opinion, the design is way better than on the S4 apps. And also one cool thing is that the battery life increased with the new software. So uh, I was able to get five hours and 20 minutes screen on time, which I really never was able to do it with the old S4 software or S4 apps. Um, there it was like um, four hours to four hours and 30 minutes and maybe five hours with uh, the lowest um, brightness. So it's a pretty big increase with just updated software. And yeah, I hope you liked the video and feel free to subscribe.